I've always embraced art that is valid for its own time, art that is connected to a place, to real events. That's what I'm trying to say. It has to be connected to the past of our foremothers and to the future, politically and spiritually, and to other cultures. And that means, finally, a connection to men. It was last October. I was standing outside of my studio in Berkeley watching a dump truck across the street. It was delivering sand. I stood there watching the sand pour from the truck. It was a revelation. The sand, the truck being emptied, the ground being filled. I was fascinated at first by the way a salad can look like a liquid and by those little clouds of dust that puff up when it falls. Then I got to thinking about the sand itself, this material that's all over the world that we have in common with Africa and Europe and everyone else. I didn't have any idea where these thoughts were leading me, or even if they were leading me anywhere at all. Then came the eruption at Mount St. Helens in Washington. Like a number of other women, I saw Mount St. Helens as very female, about women not being silent anymore, and I knew that the time had come for my art to embrace that message. I had my first sand gathering last November. It began as a small ritual that now has evolved into into a collective gathering that reflects the need for connections and coherence. We have collected sand at locations and under circumstances charged with political, geographical, and personal significance. There was a gathering at a nuclear plant in San Diego, a series along the San Andreas Fault, and for me, a very touching session here with my mother in New York. She was very skeptical. She kept looking at her watch, but I know she understood. The gatherings continued through the winter, one by me and my childhood girlfriend from Cedarhurst, another by mothers with infant sons. Once word got out, women began sending me sand through the mail. My apartment is a kind of urban beach. Recently, spotting sealed boxes in my car, thieves broke in and made off with them. I can imagine what they hoped they were getting. In a way, there's something very fitting about it. There's a sense of menace around everything even this. But the sound of sand dropping, it's beautiful, don't you think?